Hello everybody, just wanted to go through a quick little rundown on maybe how you could calculate your actual running costs for a year. So let's call the business Turbo Transport, TT Transport. And we've got some wages. Don't know how much you take for wages, so in this case we're just going to say it's £400 per week. And we're going to need um, the Courier Exchange. And that's 1500 per year. Now, the important thing here is how many weeks are you going to run in a year? Are you going to run 52 weeks? Are you going to work 45 weeks? If we take 45 weeks, is a reasonably good example. So if we take 45 times 5, that's how many days we're going to run. That gives us 225 days. So everything we do, we need to divide by 225. Now, if you want to work for 46, 47, 48, whatever weeks, that calculation stays the same. So we're paying ourselves 400 pounds a week, five days in a week, it's 80 pounds a day. Courier exchange, 1500, divided by 225. Those are six pounds a day. Quite cheap, isn't it? What else have we got to worry about? Well, we're going to have insurance. So let's have £2,000 worth of insurance. It goes £8.80. What other costs can we have? Well, we're going to have mileage and fuel and depreciation and we're going to have to pay national insurance. Now, class two at the moment is um, £3 a week. Now, mileage. How many miles are you going to do a year? I'm guessing I'm going to manage 70,000 miles. So let's put 70,000 miles. But we're only working on 225 days. So 70,000. So we're going to average 300 miles per day. But then we that doesn't really help us as a cost. We need to understand that in terms of what the fuel's going to cost us. So if the fuel is one pound, if we have 70,000 miles, let's say your van does 50,050 miles to the gallon, 70,000, so how many gallons do you need to cover that? So 70,000 divided by 50 equals 1,400 gallons. We have to multiply that by 4.5 to give us litres, so 6,300 litres. And at the moment, we're just going to go with pound fifty, horrendous as it is. So that gives you 9,450 per annum for fuel. So we divide that by 225. And that gives us 42 pounds of fuel per day. And what other costs? We're going to have some depreciation. Let's say we've got 3,000 per year. Again, divide that by 225. Was thirteen pounds thirty, and we've also got maintenance and tires. It's an approximate figure twelve hundred. In my case, I've serviced the van twice. The first service was two hundred pounds. The second service was three hundred pounds, and I put a set of tires on it plus some other miscellaneous stuff. It comes to twelve hundred. Again, divide that by two two five gives us £5.33. Let's add that all up. Okay, and now for me comes the scary part. That all adds up to £156.64 per day. Now, I'm not in any way saying this is the 100% most accurate way to do it, 
but you know, if any operator running any kind of business, you have to allow for your fixed costs and your running costs. And this kind of is a good little scheme to run through for yourself, just to have a quick little look. What does it cost me when I go out? So a couple of things that you could change. You could maybe come off of the CX. You could maybe pay yourself 50 pounds a day. You could maybe get cheaper insurance. You can't get out of this and you're never gonna get away from this. Depreciation, you could decide, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with depreciation and I'm gonna go cheap on maintenance. So I'm gonna go two pound 50. And by doing that, we get a grand total of 99 pounds and 61 pence. So we can save ourselves 50 pounds a day by going cheap ass. Anyway, that's just one thing. Give it a try, copy it, like, share, comment. Don't like, share, comment. I'm okay with it. Have a great day and good luck out there.